Yo, yo, welcome back to my channel. And in today's episode, I wanted to teach you how to dual wield properly, because I got a request. Somebody was asking me, how do you like pull out one gun at a time and then pull out two guns? So here's how you do it. Boop, bop, you know, and then, then you can put them back on your back. So let's go through this code. It's not that difficult. Um, and I'll show you how I did this. All right, so first thing you want to do is open up a brand new project and import your weapons. So for me, I've got two weapons in here. I've got a gun and a sword. My gun's like that, and my sword's like that. Bow. So I want both of them on the character's back at the same time, and I want to be able to dual wield. Also, I want to be able to pull out one at a time um, while having the other one in the other hand. Um, basically, just like I just showed you in the beginning. We need to pull out one weapon and then be able to pull out the other one and have them separate. So here's the best way to do that. So first thing is, let's go to our character, so our third person character, in the blueprints, click on your character, and we need to create some sockets in their skeleton. So click on their skeletal mesh, which is right over here in the pink or red or whatever color that is, magenta, <laughs> and then you'll get this screen. Now on the right hand side, this is where all their bones set up is. We need to add a socket to their left hand and to their right hand, or to their left hand and to their right hand. So find the hands over here. So for me, I see hand right, and I'm going to right click on that and say add socket. And I'm going to actually rename this socket. So uh, let's rename the socket. Hold on. So right click on the socket and say rename socket. And I'll call it right socket. And then also do the same thing to the left hand. So find the left hand up here, which it should be right here right click and we're going to add a socket and then we're going to click on that socket and rename it to left socket <laughs> okay cool now we got our two sockets now we're good to go but we actually need to add one more socket so we can add one more for the back socket so um, i would actually add two in here but you can you, you don't have to i would add one just to be cool so let's add one for the back socket so find their spine or something like that so let's see what which spine we're going to pick on. Uh, spine. All right, here's all their spines and stuff. Let's try spine five. Hey, spine five is cool. Yeah, spine five. So add a socket to spine five or whatever. You know, it's like right up here in this chest type area. Add a socket. And this one, I'm going to rename it to back socket. Bow. And then just save everything and let's X out of here and let's go back to our third person character. In the viewport is where we're going to be able to set up all of these weapons. So the first thing that we need to do is put a weapon in their left hand and in their right hand. So come down here and we're going to uh, add a static mesh to this mesh. We need to add two of them. So come over here add static mesh. This one's going to be my right weapon. And the other one's going to be a duplicate of that. So right click, duplicate. And this is going to be my left weapon. Perfect. So now I've got a right weapon and a left weapon. And so what you need to do here is actually let's parent this left weapon to the left hand. So over here, while you have left weapon selected, you can come over here to where it says parent sockets. And then you just find that left socket. And then for your right one, you come over here to parent sockets and find the right socket. Uh, right there. Now, if you're not able to select these sockets right over here, then what you need to do is make sure that your static meshes that you just added are underneath the mesh of the character. And that will solve your problem. But now, let's go ahead and add a uh, back weapon one and back weapon two. So let's add two more static meshes. So we'll call it back one, and then we can right click and duplicate that. Well, actually, look what happened. They put it underneath my right weapon. I don't want that. I want it underneath the mesh. So there we go. And then we can duplicate it and call it back two, and that's perfect. Now we're almost done. Now the next thing is we have to fill out what's in each one of these slots here. So on the left weapon slot, I actually want to have the gun. So over here where it says static mesh, I'm going to find the mesh that I imported, which you can 
go over here to your assets where you imported it at click on your asset and then just swap it in now for me that's way too big oh my it's a gigantic gun so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna size it down but right now it's moving and that's because the mesh is like the skeletal mesh right here is breathing let's pause the animations by clicking on the skeletal mesh coming on the right hand side underneath advanced pause animations and now on the left hand weapon that's hooked up to the left socket we could resize that and position it so let's go ahead and do that now so make it way smaller kind of uh, tilt it up like that tilt it down like that probably a little bit smaller too but whatever works for you you make sure this part is kind of like this is the this is like going to make the effect make or break the effect I should say because however you get your weapon positioned in here is how it's going to look in their hand and look in the game when they aim and all that extra stuff so just get it in here looking all right and for me we're almost done here let's rotate it one more time around this way bop bop bring it down I think that's good you know and this is just for tutorial sake so I'm not gonna get it extra perfect but I, I suggest that you get it extra perfect anyways compile and save and now let's put a weapon in their right hand so for me that's gonna be the black worm blade which is my sword Boop. and again it's big and we gotta resize it so bear with me again guys I'm gonna resize it and while I do that you could do it too Boop. and I'm gonna rotate it and I'll bring it down to put it in their hand perfect perfect so now they've got both weapons out right now and that's that's cool um, now let's go ahead and add both of these weapons to their backs as well so click on the back one and for the static mesh we're gonna choose the gun again now for the socket here we need to make sure this is in the back socket that we created there we go so now it's on the back socket so now what we can do is position it and put it on their back this way this way they'll have like their guns on their back when whenever it's time to put them away and again that's huge too huge let's make it smaller okay and let's rotate it and rotate it and still make it smaller a little big I think that's good right there um, so cool they got the gun on the back and then now on the back two static mesh let's go ahead and parent it to the back socket one more time but let's put the worm blade so the sword okay and we're gonna rotate it here here and bring it back some and also make it smaller honestly you shouldn't be grabbing the blade like from the spiky point so actually let's turn this shit around <laughs> we're gonna stab your hand when you're trying to grab the blade make it smaller and move it where I need it to be about right there okay perfect so now our character has all the weapons they need now we need to go set up the logic so compile and save and let's go into the event graph now we need to have two different keys to press this to make it be efficient and this is the way I thought that would be the best so for my one keyboard event right here so when I press the number one on the keyboard then I want a couple things to happen right so let's compile let's think about this we want the left weapon so pull out your left weapon static mesh which let's make sure and check which one that is right so the viewport left weapon is going to be the gun 
So where's the gun? It's in back one. So if we're doing left weapon, we need to also pull out back one. Now, left weapon, when we press one, oops, here's something that we didn't do. So and before we even start doing the code, just so it'll make sense when we do the code, each weapon, right weapon, left weapon, but not the back ones, we're gonna put um, the visibility on uh, not visible right here. So the right weapon as well. Right down in rendering, just click not visible. So that way, when you press the number one, then the left weapon, you can set the visibility right here. And you want it to be visible. And then you want that back weapon to be invisible. So you set the visibility of that. I just copied and pasted. Um, but you make sure that the visibility is off, right? Now, you want to be able to toggle this. Um, so what we'll do is we'll put a flip-flop right here. And for the B part, all we have to do is just copy this and do the opposite. So copy, paste, bring it down, hook it up to B. And instead of this one being visible, let's turn it invisible and this one visible. I think you're getting the gist of it. Now all we have to do is set up our right weapon. So on the two keyboard event, I'm going to do the exact same code pretty much, except I'm using the right weapon and I'm using back two. So let's move that down a little bit. And again, we're going to just set the visibility. So from the right weapon, set visibility to true, connect it up to pressed, and then we're going to set the visibility again to from the back weapon to false. So that's perfect. Uh, again, we need to add a flip-flop right at the beginning. And then just copy and paste that. Copy, paste. And make sure you reverse it. So this should be not visible, and this should be visible. Compile, save, uh, viewport. I think everything's set up, so let's check it out. Let's test it out. I'm going to click X out of here. Save, play. So, oops, I didn't unpause the animations. So go back to your character if you didn't do it, like me. Uh, mesh, pause animations. Wow. Okay, now let's test it. All right, they're running, they're running. Now we want to pull out the first weapon. First weapon's out. Put it back, actually. So let's pull out the second weapon. There you go. You can put the... You can keep, you know, so now you can variably choose which weapon you want to have out. And that's pretty much what I wanted to show you. That's to me, is the best way that you can dual wield or the fastest, most efficient way to dual wield inside of Unreal Engine. So I hope you learned something today. And I hope, dude, uh, whoever asked that question, I hope you, I answered your question. If not, just comment in this video and be like, bro, I actually meant this, you know what I'm saying? Then I'll try to help you out from there. But other than that, I hope y'all have a wonderful, beautiful, lovely day. And stay positive and also stay creative. Peace.